my major project that I've gotten a lot of press and shows and everything from is called Chicks with Balls, Judy Takis Paints Unsung Female Heroes. The whole concept is spotlighting real people that live among us that are going through a lot of extraordinary trials and tribulations, and yet they're still caring for their families, they're holding down jobs, they're taking care of everything in their lives and going through a lot of stuff at the same time, you know, whether it's cancer, divorces, job layoffs, just the whole nine yards. I've done the first day already on this painting and, um, and sort of blocked out the drawing. It's basically like, here's a film idea, but I'm looking for my star. I'll end up with hundreds of photos and nobody sees them. That's one of my guarantees to the model. When you kind of grow up revering Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and Rembrandt, and you've never really heard of a lot of women artists that you know have been kind of swept under the rug through history, it's just harder to picture yourself on that path, you know. And then of course you always can be an art teacher because you know all your art teachers are women. I did a study of her face ahead of time because you you basically you get to practice. I do need to check it sometimes and the mirror is the ultimate way to check that. Because both my parents were professors, I was in the one-way tunnel to taking your SATs, your ACTs, going to college, and getting a degree in something. I got accepted to Case Western Reserve. You could take art classes at the Cleveland Institute of Art, and from my first life drawing class, I was like, whoa, this is what I want to be doing. I always found myself sort of too fine artsy for the commercial department, too commercial for the fine art department. There's always a certain point of comfort when I'm painting a person and then suddenly there's a person there looking at me. My freshman life drawing teacher, Jose Cintron, used to give us certain little quotes like, freshen the color. Judy Carducci, who is a pastel artist from the area, said something to the effect of, there's nothing wrong with mud, it's what you put next to it that counts. So those two are always like dueling in my brain here. This is all part of my mythology series um, where I take the stories and legends from all the religions and re-examine them through a feminist contemporary lens. For my Venus de Milo painting, it's Venus doing kintsugi on herself. And kintsugi is the Japanese art of filling the cracks of a broken thing with gold. Medusa was a beautiful young mortal maiden who was raped by the god Poseidon in Athena's temple. And Athena, blames Medusa for desecrating her temple. She declares that no man shall ever look at her again and turns her into the snake-headed Gorgon that we all know and hate. I have returned her youth and beauty. I found a beautiful model who had so, so, so much gorgeous dark hair and I gave her a hashtag stigmata also, you know, because of the Me Too movement. So that's why the name of the, the painting is Hashtag me, Dusa, too. Pandora was tempted by being given a box that she was forbidden to open. You can do anything you want, but don't open that box. Eve, when she bites out of the apple, she will get all this knowledge. In both cases, the moral of the story is that the world goes to hell when women seek knowledge. That, to me, is a myth that definitely needs to be busted. And in each situation, Eve and Pandora, when they seek knowledge, good things happen.